An Italian priest who has spent his life working in Taiwan has been overwhelmed by the response to his appeal to help Italy through the COVID-19 crisis. Father Giuseppe Di Done of St. Mary's Hospital in Luodong originally hoped to raise 11 million NT to help medical professionals in Italy. But in just one week, the people of Taiwan raised more than 10 times that much in an astonishing display of transnational compassion. Father De Done says it has exceeded all his expectations. Last Thursday, the resident priest of St. Mary's Hospital, Luodong, Father Di Done, was praying for relief for his countrymen in Italy, one of the nation's worst hit by the pandemic. More than 10,000 people have died, including many priests, some of whom I studied with. They don't have any medicine. The dead are being taken to crematoriums in trucks to be cremated in groups. Decades ago, when Taiwan's medical infrastructure was immature, many Catholic priests from Italy came to Taiwan to provide medical services. Now, that love is being returned. <laughs> Father Didone thanks Taiwan. Last week, with the help of former health minister Yang Zhiliang, he put out an appeal for funds to buy N95 masks for Italy. The original target was 1.1 million NT in two weeks. But in just one week, they've raised an astonishing 150 million NT. The hospital has now ended the fundraiser, but long queues of would-be donors are still lining up outside the door. The hospital is assisting them to choose other charitable causes to give to instead. More than 20,000 individual donors have contributed. The largest donation came from Nanshan Charity Foundation, which donated 5 million NT. The second largest, 3 million NT, came from Longshan Temple, showing that religious differences are no obstacle to cooperation. And Father Didone is equally touched by the overwhelming response of ordinary people. Every day, so many people were lining up to donate, going way beyond my goal. Now aged 80, Father Didone came to Taiwan at the tender age of 24. In 1981, he raised funds to build a Huimin Center in Penghu, which provides specialized care for people with disabilities. In 2017, he was granted Taiwanese citizenship. Now, that life of service is reflected in the eagerness with which people of Taiwan are responding to his call for help.